it's Sunday again. It's so hard to believe. It seems like the weeks go by so quick. It seems like for me, the older I get, the quicker the weeks go by. And I wanted to just have a little talk with you today. There's nothing really special that I want to say to all of you. I just thought maybe we could just have a little chat. You know, my heart to hearts or my Sunday videos, I oftentimes talk about things that are really important in my life. And I talk about all kinds of things and subjects and you just never know what I'm going to talk about. But I really don't have anything extra to say today. But I thought I would share with you what I'm doing. So we're in the pantry. As you know, I make these videos, my Sunday videos, I make on a Friday or Saturday. And this is a Friday for me because on Sundays I don't work. I don't do any extra work. And that has really been helping me tremendously. And that has been the focus of my life and just calming myself and, and just really having peace in my life. And I've noticed a trend and it's a very sad trend, but it is a trend that when you have those kind of videos, you just don't get the views. And I was going to do a video on this a while back and then I never got to making it. And I think that for me, you know, people like seeing me react to things. They like my reactions to things. There's just not much for me to react to because I have really changed my focus and my inward perspective of my life. And so you're not going to see those great blow up reactions like react to this or react to that. And I have done a few of them. I've done quite a few of them in my past and through five years, I've probably done about eight or nine of them. And those always get really high views because it's a reaction. But I'm just not doing that these days. And I really, really have significantly reduced my anxiety level. In fact, I don't get panic attacks anymore. It's been about two months, three months since I got my panic attacks. Now I was getting them over the, my health situation because of, you know, physical weakness and things like that. But I haven't been getting panic attacks and I'm going to tell you some of the things what's helping me and why I'm not getting them anymore. There are a lot of people like me who have stressful jobs. Now, having a YouTube channel, a lot of people would say, well, that's not a job. Well, it is. It's a very time consuming job. In fact, I work on YouTube about 10 to 12 hours a day. I mean, that's most of my day. It has something to do with YouTube, whether I'm commenting or I'm making videos or I'm working on videos and I'm trying all kinds of new things, learning new things. I've been learning a lot of new skills with editing and working on my videos and I enjoy them immensely. But I realized as I got older, I got really tired quick and I didn't realize until after I came home from the hospital all those months ago, I think it's like almost four months now, that when I came home from the hospital and I went to get on the computer, I was so tired just getting on the computer and reading comments. I didn't realize how much physical that takes from your body. And you know, you don't think about it when you're feeling good. You don't think about all the things that you're doing and how much work that is for your body. And I realized then and there that I have to make some changes and I've had many changes personally in my life. And sometimes people who are very observant, especially people who watch me on a daily basis would see those changes. Of course, there's the physical change. You know, that's something most people will see, you know, right, right away. They go back and see six, seven months ago, my face was almost twice the size and I am still losing weight. And I do have videos on that. You might see an update before this one. I'm not sure yet. I don't like to make a big deal about it and I don't like to make a big, you know, production out of it, but people ask questions and it's very important for me when people ask questions that I be transparent and I answer them. And I don't know what answer they want me to give them. A lot of times they, I tell them, well, I'm not eating my, my emotions anymore. And I think that they think that, oh wait, that's not it. You know, you're on some kind of miracle pill or you had some kind of operation. No, I'm just not eating my emotions anymore. And that's one thing that I can talk about with YouTube. 
And I've been seeing a lot of content creators coming out with videos talking about their mental health with YouTube and talking about boundaries, how you have to set boundaries. And I'm this kind of person that I am happy-go-lucky. I want everybody happy and I want to fulfill everybody's wishes, you know, what they want me to be or how they want me to be. And I realized I just couldn't do that. I mean, it's impossible. Nobody can do that. Nobody can fill the needs of everybody. And I decided to let go of the stress of just worrying about everything. And then I put some things into place and I will share that with you. So my videos come out 7 p.m. every evening Eastern time. That's how it's been for, I think, a couple years now. And so everybody knows at 7 p.m. Eastern time every single day, there's a video of Tessie's. And what happened was I used to sit there and watch the comments and try to comment back right away because YouTube says, you know, you really should do that. You know, it's interaction. What happened was 99.9% .9 of my comments are always happy and positive. So it's not the negativity. I don't get negativity on my channel. I get it very seldom. I used to, but not anymore. And I think people understand why I'm not getting that anymore is simply because I'm not feeding into it. You know, before people would like to have their happiness from, you know, doing things like that and then seeing my reaction, like, what's she going to say? Oh, this is great. I don't do that anymore. Now, I will answer some questions sometimes if, you know, people ask questions that maybe seem a little bit negative, but I don't respond in the ways that they were used to. And so, but even questions, I would get a lot of questions at 7 p.m. And so I would be frantically you know, trying to answer all these questions. Well, I was so tense from it all that I would get anxiety at night when I would want to go to bed because I'm on the computer up until the minute I close my eyes to go to bed. And I realized that that was one thing that I cannot do anymore. When I was younger, I was able to handle it better. But I'm almost 52. I know you all think I'm still young. <laughs> but I am older, and there's certain things that I can't handle at night. And so what I will do is I don't look at my videos at all in the evening. I My videos automatically comes uploaded and then I'm not on it. I'm not on it. Usually I'm not on it at all. And so you'll see a comment from me in the morning because in the morning then I'm a fresh and I'm a new and I'm able to face the day. And so I will heart or answer all of my comments the first thing in the morning. I get that all out of the way. So in the evenings, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not commenting people. And in the evenings, I don't have my computer on mostly. I mostly don't have my computer on or I will be watching an old 1930s or 1940s film. I love the old black and white films. I've really gotten into that, into watching very vintage old videos. I also like to watch, it's called Geeks AB. And he has a live stream every day sharing all kinds of vintage educational films. Now, I don't watch it when he has a live stream, but I watch it afterwards. And I love his channel. It's all, it's all educational. All the films that you would have seen when you were children in school. And they're so interesting. You know, they are really neat. I enjoy it. I've learned so much stuff. And they are usually all vintage. In fact, I think they are. They're all vintage. Very old. You know, we go back in, you know, into the 20s, into the 30s, into the 40s. He has silent movies. It's so much fun. <laughs> but my favorite are in the 1940s and the 1950s. And so maybe I will watch that in the evening. But I, you know, I don't have the social media. I'm not on Facebook. I have my Facebook group. If you're interested in that, there's a link to that on my main page. So if you go to Homestead Tessie's, YouTube main page. There's a little icon in the upper right where it shows my Facebook group, but I'm not on there often. I'm only on there to um, let people have their posts I, or I, you know, comment them or give them hearts. I just really took a step back in my life and, and I realized that nobody else is going to do it for me. You know, people love you and people care about you. But there's certain things in your life that you got to do for yourself. And for me, it was eliminating the social media. When I eliminated my social media, my views went really down because I was not all over social media posting my videos. But you know what? It got to the point where it was just too much. It's like I put a video out every single day. And I know a lot of people say they wish my videos were longer. But I put out a video every single day and it takes 
tremendous hours to do this. So a 10 minute video from me takes an hour and 45 minutes to me to edit it and to get it all together. Then it takes another hour and 45 minutes for it to up level on YouTube. Then it takes another 30 minutes for me to get all links and all things in it, thumbnails and all that. So every single video of mine is over four hours of work to create a 10 minute video. Now my videos are tending to be a little longer these days. They're, they're usually a 10 minutes to 14 minutes long. And that's my sweet place right there, 10 to 14 minutes long. I simply could not have a video any longer because then I would be losing out on the content of the quality of my videos because it would just get too tiring. I'm really enjoying learning new skills with editing and learning new skills of how to put videos all together. I like adding graphics. I like adding all kinds of things to it. I'm really enjoying doing that. Most of the bigger YouTubers, they don't do it. They are the ones that are filming on the front of the camera, but then they have people that are doing all the editing and all of the work on the side. So, and most of them have somebody even paid that they do that. It's just me. I'm a one woman show. It's me. Me, myself, and I. I'm the film girl. I'm the camera girl. I'm the video girl. <laughs> I'm the host. <laughs> I'm everything. I've, I've always been that way. I've never had anybody do anything else for me. My husband loves YouTube and loves videos, but he does not like editing. He does not like filming, and he surely doesn't like being in the videos. <laughs> But that's okay because we all have our limits. My husband and I were talking one evening and we were talking about, you know, what you can and can't do. And he said something to me about somebody who does something and I forget what it was about. And I said, I just, I couldn't do that. I simply could not do that. And, you know, we all have things we just can't do. We, we just can't do it. We, we can't do it. And, you know, he said how he just can't be on videos. He just doesn't like it. He just can't do it. And then when I explained to him about this, you know, a certain thing that I just can't do, you know, I just can't do it. I can't sew. I can't sew. I just can't. I tried it. He understood that there are some things that you just you, you can't do it. And a lot of times, you know, with YouTube families, you have that. You have certain people in YouTube in the families that are very vocal. <laughs> and my family is the same way. I have children that really are vocal. And then I have a husband and I have my oldest daughter who does not like YouTube, whatever. I've got some videos of her on there. I got some I snuck in there, but I like to honor people because I would not ever want somebody forcing me to do something that I just emotionally, physically can't do. I never dreamed I could do YouTube. <laughs> physically and emotionally I couldn't do it for a long time and now it's just become so simple for me so about I don't know it was in June I spoke in front of over 200 people that was the first time I ever done that and it was something that was extremely out of my comfort zone but I did it and I did it as as well as I possibly could and I really enjoyed doing that looking back. It was the biggest thing that I had to conquer because it was talking about the death of my parents and, and that was really, really hard. And it is hard, it's still hard. Even though this topic and subjects I was talking about today is nothing of great importance, you know, it's just sitting down and sharing with you. These are the most fun videos that I do because I just love being able to sit and talk. It's nice for me to sit and talk. You know, so many times when I make videos, they are so super, super intensive with all the things you got to do. Cooking videos are extremely hard and things like that. And I'm going to be getting back into a lot of cooking videos. I had stopped simply because the cooking videos weren't getting hardly any views. And I figured, you know, people maybe are tired of cooking. But this winter we will do more cooking and we'll do more of everything. My mind always has so many things going in it and I always get it done. You know, it's like I tell my husband, I said, at the end of the day, I seem to always get it done. It just takes a little longer these days and the older I get, but I'm in my element. I'm in the happiest that I have ever been. And I just am living the moment right now, taking this moment. 
It's hard for people to believe that I'm in the happiest I've ever been because I was in the saddest I've ever been this year. This year has been the saddest I have ever been. There have been the most, the most extreme difficult situations I have ever been. But I'm coming out, I don't know, on this side. And I can look back and say, I'm now the happiest I have ever been. And that is because of sharing my life with you all on YouTube and because of your kindness, your tangible kindness and your kindness to me and just being my friend. You've been my friends, you've been with me. And I feel like the community I have right now, I feel like the people that are in my channel right now are amazing people who have the same mindset that I do. And you are the kind of people that I wanna be around. And for that, I thank you guys. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, every single day I have a video. A lot of times people say that all of a sudden they're not seeing my videos anymore. You have to be aware of two things. One is you have to ring the notification bell. It's underneath right here, and it will say notify all, and that's what you want to click on. And then your bell will have a different icon on it. If you don't do that, you will not see every video of mine. You won't see it on your dashboard or in your wall. Also, another thing is, if you stop watching me for a month or two, YouTube will take you off of my channel because YouTube is constantly doing that and I don't know why. And number three, just check below to see if you still are subscribed to me. It only takes you a minute and it really helps me out as well. And another thing is, if you want to give me a thumbs up, it's really nice of you to do that. You know, I do put a lot of work into my videos. I don't have Patreon. I don't have anything like that. I don't have membership for my channel. But if you would do that, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Then it's just saying, hey, I appreciate what you're doing. And then that way, YouTube sees that. I know it's hard to give thumbs up because you just don't think about it all the time, but it does really make a difference. And for someone like me, while I love the community I am, people are always coming and going. And if you don't have a new influx of people, you know, your channel will slowly disappear in that big sea of channels. You know, I forget how many billion videos are put out daily. It's just tremendously amazing that even anybody watches little old me. <laughs> Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Bye, everybody.